Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are five companies Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, and Epsilon. They manufacture five different types of products biscuits, hair oil, noodles, soap, and tea. No two companies manufacture the same number of products. Similarly, each product is manufactured by a different number of companies. The following table gives partial information about this. So, we know that number of products has to be unique for each of these companies. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will come here. Similarly, number of companies for every product will be unique. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 should come here as well. So, 2 and 4 have already been used. So, basically we will need 1, 3, 5 and here we will need 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, the very first thing that we will do is we will map each other the tables uh, with each other. So, for example, Alpha produces biscuits and noodles. So, uh, in biscuits, let's say we are putting biscuits. So, biscuits is produced by Alpha. Biscuits is produced by Beta also. Okay. Then uh, we come to noodles. Noodles is produced by Alpha. Then soap is produced by uh, Beta and Delta. So, uh, Beta and Epsilon. So, soap is Beta, Epsilon. Okay. Uh, then we have... Uh, Soap is produced by beta and epsilon here also. And then hair oil is in delta. So hair oil we will put delta and epsilon. And then T we have epsilon. Okay. So this is how we map these products into this table. Similarly, we will map names of companies in this table. So alpha and delta produce soap. So alpha produces soap. Delta also produces soap. Okay. So we have mapped the two tables. Now, let's look at this table. If you see, hair oil is produced by four companies. And if you look at soap, it is produced by four companies. Now, two companies cannot produce, one product cannot be produced by two companies. Okay. So, what we will do in this case is, instead of four, we will have five companies producing soap. So, it will be present in gamma also. So, gamma produces soap also. Now, if you see Gamma has only one product, which is soap. So, <coughs> no other company will, uh, like soap is not produced by Gamma or no other product will be produced by uh, soap. Uh, like soap is produced by this, so no other product will come in Gamma. Now, hair oil is poor, so it cannot come in Gamma. So, it will come in others, like Alpha and Beta will also produce hair oil. So, Alpha and Beta, we will have hair oil we will have hair oil. Okay. So, we have uh, put hair oil in these. Right. Now, we have uh, to put uh, noodles and biscuits. Now, if you see biscuits is produced by two. Okay. So, it has to be more than two. So, noodles will be produced by only one company which is Alpha. So, biscuits are produced by three companies. We are yet to find the third company. So, this is done. This is done. All five done. All four done. We have to put one company that produces tea and <coughs> another company that produces uh, biscuits. Now, uh, this is noodle is done. Uh, now, if you see that uh, we have uh, this company producing two items. This company has produced three items. This has produced three items. This has produced four items thus far, right? Now, there is one company which will produce only two items. So, that can be Delta. Okay, so Delta produces only two items. Now, we need to check which one of these companies will produce three. One of these will produce four, okay? And uh, the items that are left are, one is T is left. So, we cannot put T here. Okay, and uh, so that means T can come in any of these two. And uh, if you look at this biscuit is missing. So, we have to put one biscuit also. So, A and B already produce biscuits. So, this will also produce biscuits. Okay, so biscuit is produced in three companies. This is done. So, this company produces four items. Now, beta has three items. So, beta will produce three items only because this is already four. So, alpha will produce all five items. And this will include T as well. So, T is produced by E and alpha and biscuit by A, B and E. 
So this is how we will complete the table. Now let us answer the questions. Which company manufactures all products? So we have Alpha manufacturing all products. Which of the following companies does not produce biscuits? Okay, so which does not have biscuits in it? Alpha, Beta, Delta, Epsilon. So biscuits is Alpha, Beta and Epsilon. So Delta does not produce biscuits. What is the only product produced by Gamma? So Gamma produces soap. How many products does Epsilon produce? So Epsilon produces four items. And how many companies produce both hair oil and noodles? Okay, so hair oil and noodles, it is in alpha uh, and uh, yeah, so that is the only company because noodle is produced by only one company. So no other company produces noodles. So it alpha produces both hair oil and noodles. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.